Hi there! It's time to brush up on your altar server skills for All Saints Catholic Church. There are two servers now. Hello, Gideon and Trevin. Thank you for serving this Sunday. Make sure you sign in in the small sacristy at the top of the stairs. Just put a small check mark by your name so we know that you're here. Then it's back to the altar server sacristy to vest. But before you put on your vestments, make sure you say the prayer of St. Tarsisius, the patron saint of altar servers. Now it's time to put on your vestments. Get all the buttons. We always wear black cassocks for regular masses and red cassocks for special events. Oh look, here comes Bradley. Bradley, what's wrong? You're late. You should arrive at least 10 to 15 minutes before Mass. Now hurry up and get vested. Oh, Brad, your cassock is too short. Look, there's too much distance between your shoes and the hem. You better change or you will look lame. It's time to light the candles. Oh, Trevin, don't use a barbecue starter to light the altar candles. Gideon, show him how it's done. Always use a candle lighter. Carefully light the candles, and if your flame starts to go low, all you have to do is press the lever on the candle lighter, push it up, and that will extend the wick of your candle lighter, giving you more wick with which to light your candles. Good job, Gideon. Now get the lectern. Oh, that's right. Take off the glass before you light the candles. And remember, the glass could be warm. That's right, boys. It's almost time for Mass, so light up your torches. And now line up. Be very careful with the crucifix, Gideon. You're the crucifer today, the cross-bearer. When you're the acolytes, try and get the candles at the same level. Let's try it. That's much better. And now let's enter when the singing begins. Once you get to the altar steps, go single file up into the sanctuary. The cross-bearer places the crucifix in the stand while the two acolytes bring their torches to the back and places them on the counter. Remember to leave them lit. And now one of the most important things you can do. When you pass before the tabernacle at the beginning of Mass, always remember to genuflect together and then go to your place. Use the stairwell closest to the baptistry when you go to your chairs. It's so important that you participate in the Mass so do the sign of the cross with everyone else. At the time of the opening prayer, the cross-bearer will bring the book up to the priest when he says, let us pray. When the priest concludes the prayer, he will carefully close the book and send you back to your chair. Of course, altar servers, it's important to participate and pay attention during the Mass. When the readings are being... Oh, Bradley, you've got to get more sleep. Oh, Bradley, wake up! Mm -mm -mm. Always pay attention during the readings and the homily, and you certainly don't want... What? Bradley... Don't wave at people, you're being distracting. Bradley. Once the homily is over, it's time to profess our faith by reciting the creed. Make sure you get the book out, find the creed in the book, and begin to pray with everyone else. That's right, pray your prayers with pride. Now it's time for the preparation of the gifts. Remember, the credence table is set up with three different groups of vessels. One, two, three. The first group includes the book 
and stand, the cloths and pattens and the chalice. The first to bring out is the cloths and the pattens. Bring them to the priest or the deacon and he will begin to set the altar. Then you bring the book and the stand. Remember it's heavy. Oh, and look, Bradley, remember, go to home base. That's the tape on the floor. Let's see if Trevin gets it. That's right, Trevin, when you bring out the chalice, you also stand right there on home base. Once you've given your vessels to the priest, return to the credence table for group number two, which includes the vessels with the water and the wine. Bring them up together and offer them to the priest or deacon. Remember to wait for each other on home base. That way you can make the trip back to the credence table together. Now it's time for group number three, which includes the water, the bowl, and the hand towel. Look how Bradley opens up the hand towel and puts it over his arm. That will make it easier for the priest to dry his hands. And when Father places his hands over the bowl, don't be afraid to pour the water. Good job, Trevin. And look how easy it is for the priest to dry his hands when the altar server has the towel unfolded over the arm. And now, altar servers bow together with the priest. It is time for the consecration, so kneel down at the altar steps. This is where the crossbearer must spring into action by ringing the bells. During the consecration, there are three moments when the bells are rung. First, when the priest extends his hands over the instruments and calls for the Holy Spirit. One long ring. Then during the first elevation with the host, once the priest concludes the prayer, he lifts the host in the air. That's the moment for three short rings. When the chalice is elevated, and the prayer is concluded, that is the time for three more short rings. Once everybody in church has received Holy Communion, it's time to clear the altar. The two acolytes come forward to home base. Father will begin giving you different things from the altar to return to the credence table. Just wait at home base, unless Father asks you to bring the cruet of water with which he will purify the vessels. It's time for the prayer after communion. Once again, when Father says, let us pray, the crossbearer brings the book to the priest. Once the prayer is concluded, the priest will again gently close the book. And you may return to your place to prepare for the recessional. Once the singing begins, the altar servers take the stairs closest to the baptistry up into the sanctuary. The crossbearer gets the crucifix and the acolytes retrieve their torches. Once you're down in the center aisle, turn around and wait for the priest to come down and genuflect before the altar. Once the priest genuflects and turns around, that's your cue, turn and begin to process out of church. But hold on, servers, you're not done yet. Normally, the altar server who lit the candles before Mass goes out to extinguish the altar candles. Just use the snuffer and gently place it on the follower until the candle goes out. Oh, Brad, don't blow out the candle. You'll get wax everywhere. Gideon, why don't you show Brad how it's done? That's right, Gideon. Gently use the snuffer. Remember, altar servers, your vestments are important and you must keep them clean and tidy. So make sure you put them away with care. Oh, Bradley, you can't just throw them back in there. Make sure you put them away with care for the next altar server. Look, Bradley, it's a hanger. I'm proud of you, altar servers. I bet you're excited thinking about the next time you're going to serve. And what about you, Trevin? What are you excited to think about? Thank you, altar servers of All Saints Church. 
May God bless you for your ministry. This has been an All Saints Catholic Church Pictures production.